Hey guys, how we doing? Today we are at Troy Race Cars out here in, oh, is this Rochester actually? Yep, sure okay. is. The guy in front of you, you probably recognize if you've been racing dirt for a while, especially if you're at Genesee Speedway, that is Kyle Inman, former Genesee champion, I believe, yep. in sportsman, now winning 358. He's going to walk us through the place, because what's your job here now? So I'm the operations manager here at uh, TFR Manufacturing, formerly Troy Race Cars, um, where we manufacture all the parts, pieces, and components for Troyer dirt cars, Troyer asphalt, uh, all the asphalt cars, um, and all the bolt-on parts that go along with it. Okay, we're going to start here with the CNC machines, three CNC machines, yep. making kind of different parts depending on what we're doing, right? Yeah, for sure. This is a, a recent addition to, uh, to the manufacturing process up here. We've previously been outsourcing uh, all our machining. So about a year and a half ago, we picked up these, uh, these three Haas machines and have done a lot of machine, all our machining in-house since then. Um, you know, we're able to, you know, make modifications on, on the move now, which is, uh, which is a big plus, you know, ever, ever evolving into new, you know, new technologies and new designs and new thoughts. That's, uh, you know, really key for us to be able to, to make those changes when we need to. Yeah, you can make as many as you want. For sure. And then, if you like you said, if you want to make a change after 50, you can. Yep. Uh, and you don't have to order 1,000 to try to keep the cost low. So, over there, that is a piece they use for bending rub rails over yep. there. What is that called? Yeah, also, that's our brand new CNC uh, bender. So, that's a, another new addition about two years ago. So, the uh, all the chassis are made... You know, as many parts as we can, which is about 90 to 95 percent of all the tubes on the asphalt and dirt cars, along with the Nerf bars, are all made on that CNC bender. So repeatability is much improved. Uh, so fit and finish is improved, and we can generally speed up the production time and hopefully keep costs as, as tight as we can. And not like two years ago, when guys could get together and physically bend up some bumpers, consistency wasn't necessarily there, was right, it? Right, for sure, for okay. sure. Over so. in here, we have an asphalt modified. This is the first car we're going to look at here. Yep. This one looks like it's pretty close. Yeah, we're, we're about a, a half a day from this one being done. Uh, Ross is just taking care of some of the final uh, pieces, putting the intrusion plates in, the safety plates in the driver's side door. Uh, just about everything's tacked on that car. He'll do some finish welding on. He's probably got another five or six hours of work in there uh, before this car will come off of the jig, and we'll be getting started on another one. Okay. Now you're wondering about the dirt cars. We got a couple of them, but first we're going to check in with one of the. Actually, let's get you earlier in the process. We'll use sure. the dirt modified for that. So this is uh, one of the brand new TD5. Yep, TD5, TD5, brand new. This is just off the jig. Um, it's in its tack stage. There's some of the some of the bars up top that are a little tougher to get to, and some of the internal welds are all finished. But now this one's. Uh, ready to be finished welded. Um, so everything's there. It's got some weld jigs on it to keep things in place for moving around, um, which is uh, which is very important for sure. So then we're gonna come in and our finished welders are gonna probably start welding on this one tomorrow to have it uh, out the door before the end of the week here. And we were talking about, you see, these are tack welds. These are not yep. the final welds. That holds it, basically just holds it in place. And yep. the jig he's talking about, that's this over here. So this is where this car was a while back. Yep. And yes. you can see the parts that are the jig itself and the parts that are the race car. Like that's the jig there. For sure. Here's the jig up here. So that way you get the repeatability that you need. So yeah. this one, this is where this, the one we just looked at was right before this. Yep. Yesterday that car was right over here on this jig. Uh, this jig is also a, a fresh addition to the shop as well uh, to again add consistency. And uh, it's been a, a, a huge improvement for us. Um, you know, we're able to build cars, you know, from the ground up and, and keep things a lot square, a lot straighter than we were in the past and, and repeat, you know, I mean, that's what jigs are all about. And that's what, uh, you know, Troyer, um, you know, Troyer customers have come to appreciate and love is the, you know, the, the fine details of a Troyer chassis, which is, is definitely what we can, uh, achieve. Uh, especially now with the new jigs and the new processes we got in place. Okay, so now from where they went before, okay, remember we showed you that one there. This is the guy who does the finished welding on the asphalt cars. And when you talk about a rotisserie, yep. that's what this is, right? Yep, absolutely. We've got rotisseries for the asphalt cars and the dirt cars. You know, there's uh, there's hundreds of welds uh, in every chassis. 
and you know we may have along the along the lines gotten a car with a missed weld and you know it's never never something you want to see and we do our best to make sure when they get out of here they're triple checked to uh, to ensure that all the welds are hit and uh, you know there's just every every which way and angle you can imagine you know there's a weld in these cars okay so he's finishing that up in the history they could actually turn this either yep. way so when I was in here at first it was upside down yep this guy's got to be pretty limber to get in this car so oh he's yeah stretch before he gets yeah. to work so. for sure for all sure right. now we're gonna make our way to the back of the shop see so here's some of the two by four for the frame here good job man now this asphalt car here, there are actually four Troyer locations, and this one is going to go to the one that's out of state, correct? Yep, all our asphalt parts, pieces, and components go out to uh, Massachusetts and West Boylan, Mass, to TFR distribution. So that's where you'll be able to get all your TA1s, TA4s, TA3s, and uh, LFR Gen 2 chassis all are built here and then head out there to Massachusetts to get powder coated, assembled, and uh, all the final setups and final touches for the cars as well. You probably heard on this channel guys talking about when they have to clip a car. Yep. A lot of times they'll have front end impact. This is the clip, this part here. So if you look down here, this is the area where they would, basically you cut it there, right? And then put a new front clip on, which is this piece here, correct? Yeah, absolutely. You know, unfortunately those things happen in racing as we all know. Yeah, they do. And, uh, Never happened and, to you, but that's okay. Yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately we've had to write one or two of them off and, uh, you know, we've, we've tried to design in some elements to make it easier and uh, to replace the front clips and, and do repairs on the chassis to at least speed up turnaround time. So when, uh, you know, when they show up on Monday all wadded up, we can get somebody back on the track uh, on the original jig that was built on, which is most important. And, you know, you've seen that. I know you've seen those Facebook memes. $5 an hour weld, $45 <laughs> an hour weld. These are definitely some serious welds. And for sure. welding, for people who don't want to go to college, that's a great skill to have, isn't oh, it? Absolutely. You know, we've got a trade school right around the corner uh, from here that we've actually picked up our, our newest employee from uh, nice. straight out of that at uh, Arc and Flame. And uh, they're, they're, they're wonderful. You know, it's, it's nice that there's a, a trade school like that and, and kids still interested in the trades, you know, and that's really what we need, uh, need today. Absolutely. This one's done also? Yeah, this one here is getting ready to powder coat. Uh, this will be going to powder coat. We oh, actually just got the seat for it yesterday. So, um, the seat, by the way. So the we got to mount the seat and make a seat mount for it before it heads off the powder coat. And then, uh, you know, we'll be, uh, we'll be ready to head this to the customer and start assembling this. Nice. Uh, here in about a week or so. We got a couple more stops here. We only got about two minutes left here. Yep. Uh, all the body panels nowadays are laser cut. Yeah. And this machine here is what does that and makes sure that the pieces all look the same, they're all the same. So that's what that's doing right now. I'm going to jump in here. I can't get too close. I can't cross that yellow line. You guys have worked in factories. No, you never cross the yellow <laughs> line. You see it cutting the piece right there. Yeah. Man, I could watch this all day. This is cool. Yeah, this machine here is the heartbeat of the body shop. Um, you know, when, when this goes down, it's, it's definitely a big big uh, big deal um, you know in the past things have been hand cut and and you you'll Didn't know from buying panels maybe a little bit inconsistent well that's that's gone when you've got the laser uh, and can make cut all your holes all your Zeus holes and everything it's uh, it's a huge 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 help this is Jeremy he's the one who's using the bender if he looks familiar he works with Gil Tech and that bunch so if you've seen him before that's where you know that it, and we're gonna do something with Jeremy here in a little bit he's gonna show you how he bends these pieces and how he knows to make sure to do the bends and everything in the yep. right places. Yeah. If people want to know more, Kyle, how can they find out more? What's your website? Um, check us out on Facebook at uh, TFR Manufacturing, uh, the old Troyer Race Cars page, TFR Distribution as well. Um, also visit Troyer Dirt Cars. You know, you'll be able to find all your, uh, everything you need to know on there and give us a call if you're in the market for a new car, go from there. Good to see you, man. We'll have other stuff, so look for that. Thanks, Absolutely. Kyle. Absolutely, thank you.